Hey, this is Buzz with episode number 40 of Airwaves. And guess what? It's time for another closet classic. I dug into the closet once again and I found this old gem. It's a realistic, Radio Shack realistic LCD frequency counter from the early 2000s. Well, actually 2001. We're going to take a look at this up next on Airwaves. Buzz Stones Airwaves. Hey, this is Buzz back with you, episode 40 of Airwaves. And before we get started on this episode, I want to give a big thank you to all the subscribers of Airwaves. Uh, it wasn't that long ago that we hit 100 subscribers, and as of today, uh, earlier this afternoon, I checked, we've hit the 200 mark of subscribers, so I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed and everybody that tunes into Airways. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, I wish you would. Uh, it just lets me know that uh, my effort to put out these videos is worth it, and uh, give us a thumbs up when you uh, think something is good. I'd appreciate it. But let's get uh, back to the episode, another closet classic and I dug into the closet dug this out of there actually I'd forgotten that I had it <laughs> but it's something I'm going to need here I'm sure soon because uh, I'm doing a lot of uh, experimenting with antennas and um, I bought some new older radios that I'll be doing videos on here before too long but this is a Radio Shack LCD RF frequency counter model number 22-306 if you want to look it up and uh, I think I might have mentioned I'm not sure my very first episode and when I was telling you something about uh, my radio uh, career and experience when I was going to college uh, to get an electronics engineering degree uh, I worked at a Radio Shack uh, to help me uh, pay for my college and uh, I did not buy this though at that time but uh, so I, I do have a lot of experience with Radio Shack and uh, one of the benefits of being an employee back then was that you got a discount and it, when things went on clearance uh, you were you know you were one of the first ones to know about it so you could get pick up some really good deals from time to time and if memory serves me correctly like I say I did not buy this when I was working there this was uh, uh, several years later I believe that this had gone on clearance and that was one of the main reasons I purchased it because it was such a good deal and uh, I'll let you uh, show you that here in a little bit but as you can see it's in the original box and uh, one thing that I always do or always try to do I need to get this this is my headphone um, cable there I need to get that out of the picture um, and I wear headphones because I have the, a mono microphone. I have to use an adapter on it because the input on my camera is stereo. And sometimes um, something will happen there with the adapter and, and I lose a channel. So and to make sure that doesn't happen, I, I wear headphones whenever possible. But uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and open the box here. Well, before I do that, uh, just give you a good look at what the box looks like this is almost like a uh, an opening video but it's not because it's so old it's, it's been opened many times but uh, not recently as you can see here's the original owner's manual still have the original bubble wrap for the radio Give you a close-up view there. This thing is immaculate. I mean, it looks like it, uh, like I just purchased it today. I don't believe there's a scratch on it. And on inside the box here, here's the actually the the original receipt. I even saved the receipt, and it doesn't say whether it was on clearance or not. But I paid. Uh, looks like fifty nine. 59.22 or no no 49.97 and with tax it was uh, 
so not a bad deal because if I'm uh, if I'm correct it seems like this sold for around ninety nine dollars typically so that's probably one of the reasons I purchased it and the other remaining item in the box is uh, this telescoping antenna which you can adjust of course depending on the frequency uh, that you're going to be using the frequency counter on so I'll get uh, the box out of the way here we're zoomed in nice and close now uh, this is once again a Radio Shack LCD RF frequency counter and one thing I forgot to tell you when I was looking at the uh, the receipt, the original receipt, I'm the original owner, no one else but me has ever owned this I purchased it in 2001 so this baby is at least 19 years old um, that's how long I've owned it and to give you kind of a quick overview of this, let's go ahead and turn it on here and it's already counting, let's um, stick this antenna on here as well give you a quick overview um, it's an LCD RF frequency counter it's got a uh, microcomputer uh, inside of it that accurately measures radio frequency or RF as we call it also it can measure logic frequency signals it's ideal for home electronic hobbyists or a small repair shop you can use it to measure cordless telephone, ham, CB radio, radio controlled toy remotes, uh, radio TV circuits, or digital instrument frequencies. And uh, that's one thing I like about it because it does have the built in antenna. There was, as a matter of fact, if my memory is correct, uh, I think one of the main reasons I bought it was I had something that was emitting, emitting a radio frequency, but I wasn't sure what frequency it was and I wanted to be able to uh, measure that and uh, see what frequency I could uh, receive the signal on so it's ideal for something like that it's got uh, some of the features in it it's got a selectable measurement gate times it lets you choose a fast setting for quick measurement updates or a slow setting for maximum resolution it's got selectable, uh, selectable input impedance. It lets you select 50 ohm impedance for use with supplied with the supplied antenna, or an optional 50 ohm coaxial cable, or a high input impedance if you're going to be using it uh, with a uh, optional high impedance probe, or if you're hooking it up to an oscilloscope. Uh, selectable input frequency range. You can choose between. Uh, the first range which is 1 megahertz and 50 megahertz or you can choose 50 megahertz up to 1.3 gigahertz for RF or between 0 hertz and 10 megahertz for a logic frequency it's got a uh, BNC connector here on the top so if you want to uh, you could take this antenna and it is a, an extendable telescoping antenna so you can set the length of this to you know the proper length for the frequency you're wanting to monitor or if you have an antenna with a BNC connector on it or you have an adapter uh, directly on here and use an antenna instead um, it's got a backlight so it makes the display easy to see in low light conditions it's got a hold uh, function on it uh, the, both the light and the hold are on this switch right here and the gate speed is on the switch over here by the way this is your on off power switch uh, this is your impedance setting either 50 ohms or the high Z and then your your, your two ranges it's got a built-in recharging circuit that's something that's pretty neat uh, you can use regular alkaline batteries in it or you can use nickel cadmium batteries and there if I turn this over here on the back there's a, a door with a screw that keeps it in place if you're to open that up there's four uh, AA batteries in there and I'm using alkaline at the time but if you want to put nickel cadmium rechargeables in there there's a little switch uh, slide switch in there uh, that you have to switch over to nickel cadmium when you do that it automatically engages um, the charging circuit and on the side here if you want you can use a 9 volt adapter 
and it recommends uh, at least 300 milliamps on up and uh, has a and one thing that's unusual about this the center post is actually negative and the outer is positive usually uh, that's that's the inverse of what you normally see probably <laughs> done on purpose uh, so you would buy the optional uh, Radio Shack AC adapter uh, that you can get with this and one thing I want to mention about this radio or excuse me uh, frequency counter is that this thing is built really really well very well made this this is a metal case completely around an all-metal case and um, very like I say very well made I've had it for 19 years still looks and works great there you see the uh, the two switches for the gate speed and the uh, light and the hold um, the hold function that's a good thing to have because it's a, a lot of times especially unless you're using a direct connection if you're just using an antenna to pick up a frequency there's you know it can move around a little bit so having the hold button is a nice feature and then it tells you on the top here the two uh, frequency ranges so for a second there it jumps around when you first switch it over Well, that's interesting right now because I actually have, you know what, it's picking up. I have my Zygu G90 on here on the bench, and I have it on 80 meters, and I believe that's what it's picking up there. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a short video because it's, you know, not a complicated item, but I uh, thought you might enjoy seeing some old technology that's actually holding up well for its age. The Radio Shack LCD RF frequency counter, I purchased it brand new in 2001. It's catalog number 22306. So this is Buzz with episode number 40. Before I check out, I want to send a shout out to, uh, to my son, Mark. As you probably noticed at the beginning of the video, I had my hat on. It says, Proud Navy Dad. My son is currently serving on an aircraft carrier out in the middle of the, uh, I think he's in the Philippine Sea right now, somewhere in the, in the Asian Pacific. And I know he's missing his family but uh, he's out there serving his country and I'm very proud of him and I just wanted to uh, salute him on this video um, he's hoping uh, to get off the ship here for some R&R &R before too long some well-deserved R&R he's a actually an aviation mechanic and uh, typically he would not be on the ship but because of the uh, virus that's going around uh, they put him all on the ship when normally he would uh, would be at a base somewhere on shore uh, serving the ship. I can't uh, be more specific than that. But anyway, uh, this video is dedicated to you, Mark, and I uh, miss you and love you. And hope to see you very soon. This is Buzz, episode 40 of Airways. I hope uh, you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, we've hit 200 subscribers. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, share it with your friends. So this is Buzz and I'll see you on down the dial.